All right, guys. Derek Chauvin has been sentenced to 22 and a half years in prison for the murder of one St. George Floyd. And I hate to break it to you guys that support Floyd and anti-police and liberals and all that stuff, whatever you want to call you guys. He's going to get an appeal. And when he appeals, this will be thrown out. And he'll get a new sentence. Because you have to think about it like this. Think about it like this. Maxine Waters intimidating the jury through the media. Different things that were talked about the, the protest, the president speaking out about it. All the different things that tarnish and tainted the jury. And the fact that it's the biggest story in American history since 9-11. It was impossible for the jury to not be tainted. Then there was one juror who was, they found pictures of him at a BLM protests. So, this is not going to stand. But, let's just pretend. Let's play games. Like, this is the final sentence he's going to get. This guy says, Derek Chauvin gets 22 and a half years for murdering an innocent man. <laughs> well, I mean... What do you define as innocent? Did he really use a counterfeit bill? The people at the store said the bill was counterfeit. We have footage of him milling around the store for a long time. And trying to use the bill twice on two different occasions. And being rejected both times. And the cops being called the second time he tried to use the... $20 bill. So I would have safe to say that even if the bill is fake, they're not going to let us know that. So we'll never know if the bill is really fake. I presume that the bill was fake. So technically he would be guilty. <laughs> now, was he killed for that? No. He wasn't killed for any reason. He died after being put in a recovery position. By an officer. He was put in a recovery position. Which happens thousands of times a day. Across the country. By uh, you know. An overzealous cop. Who was in a really tough situation. But what the cop did for George Floyd. Was what George Floyd asked him to do. He asked to be put on the ground. He fought his way out of the car. And he asked to be put on the ground. I'm sick and tired of liberals. And give me an amen if you believe this. Too. Acting like they. They care so much about this. But they never watch the tape. That's all over the internet. Of the full encounter. Isn't it funny how. They get to be like in sense they get to destroy your business they get to burn down your business over this but they didn't bother to watch the entire interaction isn't that crazy no other time there's no other thing like that where you would be able to say I'm burning down your business because a guy in Minneapolis died in police custody well did you see, what about the part on the um, interaction where this happened? I didn't watch it. I can't stand to watch it. Like, wh what? <laughs> George Floyd is still dead. I hope his family finds some peace and justice. His family found plenty of peace and justice. 
George Floyd was living like a bum. Living with a dope fiend white woman in Minneapolis. Using counterfeit $20 bills. Riding in a clown car with a bunch of other junkies. Because remember, there were three other people with George that day. None of them got a scratch on them because they all complied. They all were on the tape that the liberals refused to watch telling George to stop fighting. <laughs> stop resisting. <laughs> They're all on tape telling them stop resisting. Stop, George, stop. <laughs> None of those people got a hand laid on them. The family who let George run around and be a career criminal, although I won't blame him for that because he's responsible for his own actions, but he didn't have five dollars to buy a pack of cigarettes. Or seven, or however much a pack of cigarettes cost, ten maybe. He didn't have ten dollars to buy a pack of cigarettes. And now they're all millionaires. They're all millionaires now. Once they split that up, I don't care how many people in that family. 30, 40 people, they're all millionaires now. So they, they're all right. This woman says, Derek Chauvin was just sentenced to 27 months. I mean, 270 months. 22 and a half years for the murder of George Floyd. As a public defender, I represented a man who was facing life in prison for stealing a jacket. Now, of course, she won't tell you that it was probably the street three strikes rule. She'll leave that out. That's what liberals do. That's what liberals do. They just leave stuff out. They just say anything. They say anything. They, uh, they, I represented a man. Of course, he was a black guy. Who was facing a life prison. Life in prison for stealing a jacket. Well, is it, was it? That's not uncommon in three strikes, three strike rule states. It's not uncommon. Okay. She's trying to make something seem racist or unjust. <laughs> and these people do not like black people. I'm telling you. These liberals, they don't like black people. Their black friend, like, went to Princeton or some shit. Okay. Or either some degenerate that they like guiding through life or some kind of like the relationship between um, Larry David and Leon on um, Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's either one of, <laughs> I mean, J.B. Smooth, Curb, <laughs> um, yeah, um, J.B. Smooth and Larry David. If you ever watch Curb Your Enthusiasm, that little dynamic they got in that show it's either something like that or the guy went to Harvard <laughs> and he's married to a white woman and they just invite him over for wine and cheese every couple of months and get his view about <laughs> racial, the race relations in the country. And of course, he's oppressed and everybody's oppressed. But regular black people, they see the streets, they're terrified of. Derek Chauvin could be as young as 59 when he's released from prison. Having only served 15 years, more than enough time to enjoy the rest of his life. George Floyd will still be gone at only 46. Well, listen, considering George Floyd had arteries blocked, Mostly all of his arteries was 75% blocked. One was 90% blocked. He had COVID. He had enough fentanyl in his system to kill a horse. He had benzos in his system and cocaine
plus the life expectancy of black men is about 59 years for for regular black men who are doing everything right okay and then he liked resisting arrest he was a criminal so he was going to get arrested again odds are that George And listen, anything can happen. Judging from the last year and a half, anything can happen. So, let me just say that. And you never know. It, it, it's, it's not my determination when George was, was going to go. George could have lived to be 120. But when you got arteries blocked like that, I just went to the cardiologist. Um, when I when I hurt my leg, I found out that my blood pressure was two hundred over, like one twenty. And I they got they got me on all types of I, they 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 did some kind of surgery where they stuck a tube up my arm into my heart, and they looked in my heart. They thought they wanted to put to put a stint in my heart. Um, And I'm on all types of medicine and everything. So I understand, man. You know, how, how it is rough as a, as a black man and had be in such terrible health. So I'm sympathetic of George's health problems. But <clears throat> George was, um... They act like George was just like <clears throat> out here... Like he wasn't like a street urchin, like a, just a street dude. That just is like a crazy tall, heavy street guy. Just you know, walking around and smoking cigarettes and doing any kind of drug you can find. <laughs> I, and, and listen, look, George could have lived to be a hundred and twenty. Who knows? Ava DuVernay, the woman who who. Directed and wrote that lie of a biopic about the Central Park Five. That thing that I mean, like it's one thing to use um, creative licensing, then it's another thing to just lie. And she just lied in that fictitious rendering of the Central Park Five. She did, which I think also led to this whole country because when people saw that they thought those kids got railroaded and all this stuff and that led to this whole the justice system is crooked no it's not Ain't nothing wrong with the justice system it's perfect but this woman she's that's who she is she's the woman who did that movie Derek Chauvin is a murderer a murderer who watched multiple people plead for the life of a man he killed in broad daylight. This is a woman who comes from a community that commits 80% of the murder since 2020. A community that as soon as the movement of Black Lives Matter, as soon as the world said, okay, Black Lives Matter, here, you have the stage. Spotlight on you, Black Lives Matter. You want to run things? You're in charge now. And what did Black Lives Matter do? Since then, this woman's community is responsible for 80%. So with the new census in 2020, we're now 12% of the population. Because Hispanics have risen up. So that old right wing talking point of 1350... How many of y'all ever seen somebody post 1350 online? 1350. That old talking point of 1350 no longer is valid. It's now 1280. If you don't believe me, check the gun more. If you don't believe me, check any of the places online. The, the gun violence database. Any of these things that cover gun crime 
1280. They commit 80 percent of the murder since 2020. It's out of control. So she goes on to say, Derek Chauvin is a murderer. A murderer who watched multiple people plead for the life of a man he killed in broad daylight. A murderer who placed the full weight of his body on another human being's neck and felt the life drain out of him. Derek Chauvin is a murderer. Derek Chauvin underreported half a million dollars in income while owing $20,000 in taxes. She I don't... <laughs> I don't buy. <laughs> I ain't even gonna say how much I owe, but it ain't that bad. But look, Derek Chauvin underreported half a million dollars in income while owing twenty thousand dollars in taxes, and then fucking murdered George Floyd over an alleged twenty dollar counterfeit bill. Bury him over under the prison. Two hundred and seventy months in prison for Derek Chauvin. Can never own firearms again. Must register as a predatory offender upon release. George Floyd is still dead. Omar Jimenez from CNN. He's the guy who got arrested on camera because he. <laughs> remember at the, one of the early protests? The cops created a perimeter. And he thought he could report inside of the perimeter and they told him he had to leave. And instead of just leaving, he acted like a jack A, a jack ASS, and struggled with the police and created a scene. So they locked him up. And then they said, I would never ever arrest a white reporter. <laughs> and they tried to make it seem like he got arrested just because he was black. That guy, works for CNN, says, not that it would be particularly expected, but no acknowledgement by Derek Chauvin's mother in any way of the George Floyd family or what happened to Floyd. Well, Omar, your group commits 80% of the murder in this country, yet your network CNN for the last five nights opened their nightly news segments with s segments on the Capitol riots. Every CNN pundit, Anderson Cooper, Cuomo, Don Lemon, Brianna Keeler, Aaron Burnett, Wolf Blitzer, they all week, all of them, every show have been talking about January 6th Capitol riots where not one rioter had a gun, not fired a gun. No rioter had a gun, not one of them. Not one rioter had a gun. That's all they've been talking about all week. Meanwhile, Omar Jimenez's group who make up 12% of the population, my group as well, is responsible for 80% of the murder since 2020. Damn, bro. If you want to come, come make it seem like Derek Chauvin's mother is this savage beast of a woman, because she didn't mention George Floyd. You got a couple things y'all leaving out too over there at this so-called cable news network. And this tweet's like this why I really hate liberals. Derek Chauvin didn't even express remorse. Absolutely disgusting. How many of y'all think if Derek Chauvin expressed remorse that they would have wouldn't have flipped the script and said it was fake or he's just trying to get a light sentence? He doesn't mean like there's nothing you can do with these people. That's why if you're tired of the lamestream 
snooze media. <laughs> you thought in about January 6th every night. The attack on the democracy. The insurrection. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel, man. And take the $5 challenge, too, when you get a chance. PayPal, Cash App, or Super Chat. I'm beyond angry at what is essentially a slap on the wrist for Derek Chauvin. 22 and a half years is absolutely not enough. But then again, I'm not really surprised. The justice system was never on the side of people of color. Today it shows. Aren't some of you guys glad that you subscribe to this channel? So you know that the justice system is fair. Which is a great thing. Black people get get over all the time in the justice system. White people do. Hispanic people, Asian people. All groups of people get over. All groups of people get screwed equally by the justice system. This notion that black folk don't never get over. You don't have to worry about that. You guys subscribe to this channel. You know the truth. <laughs> it's effed up Derek Chauvin getting 22 and a half years and had a fair trial. <laughs> well, people doing the same time, if not more, for being busted with a little bit of weed <laughs> or drugs in their possession. <laughs> Oh, God, this is one of the biggest myths. I hear a lot of people say it is that it's a bunch of people in jail doing crazy numbers for weed, it's small amounts of weed. I used to sell pounds and shit like that. Man, listen, man. <laughs> the amount of weed you got to be moving to get 22 and a half, five years and then you would have to be on probation or parole when you caught the case you ain't you can't just catch the case when you're not on no kind of restrictions and get that much time you'd have to been on probation or parole already and then be moving like hundreds of pounds and involve guns and drugs and all other type of stuff would have to be involved in it And then you would have to waive, you would have to like not take your deal, a plea deal and like go to trial and like spit on the judge and <laughs> like you would have to do a lot to get 22 or five years for a small amount of weed. These people are just absolutely crazy, man. Now, you can get time for weed. I'm not saying that. So, if you get in my comment section to say I'm saying that you can't get no time for weed, I'm going to block you. But this notion that the tri the reason there's so many black people in jail is because they arrested them for some small amounts of weed. That's never been true. And it's definitely not true now that they've decriminalized it everywhere. For the fact that Derek Chauvin still has the opportunity to walk free in 22 years... After choking a man out with his knee is effing outrageous. America never fails to surprise me. Okay, well then go to Africa. Then. Pick a country in Africa and go over there, sister. You talk about surprises. You talk about surprises? Especially since you pro-blacks don't really know anything about Africa. You talking about surprises? Surprises? There's some things that's going to shock you, sister. Some requirements they're going to have of you, sister. <laughs> you going to be shocked, all right? You going to be, you going to be floored. <laughs> Surprises? Derek Chauvin sentenced to 22 and a half years. Your thoughts? Forty-three percent, point five, say he should have gotten the max. Thirty percent say it's about right. 
the silent majority. Today is one of the most disappointing days for African American people. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, man. I can't take these people serious. Today is one of the most disappointing days for African American people. The judge has considered only 22.5 years for Derek Chauvin. This is hurtful that the most landmark case about police brutality and racism in history had finished so. Derek Chauvin receives 22.5 years for murdering George Floyd. 22.5 years for murder. Again, racism is systemic, affecting all aspects of society, including the justice system. You can tell how green these um, liberals are and how removed from the element they are. <laughs> that they think that 22.5 years for murder isn't a long time. Man, do they understand that dudes get eight years for murder sometimes? Ten years? Dudes get four? They don't even understand. Like, they just think that every black person that gets caught with a, a joint <laughs> gets 20 years. Because that's what they hear their black friends on Twitter say. <laughs> they have no context. Of, they have, they've never been in the system. They've never stood in front of a judge. They don't know the system at all. They just go about what the, the perception, what they hear on CNN. Black person gets caught with a joint, they get 20 years. And he only got 22.5 years for murder. It's racism. You understand how I many brothers? First of all, like half the brothers that murder people don't even get caught. Don't even get get, get questioned by police. Then out of the other half that do get questioned, about 20% of them, I say, I'd say about 30% of them, actually get charged and of that of that percentage that get charged only about like twenty five percent of them are going to get convicted because of witness tampering no snitch policy The requirements to get a conviction for murder, you need to put the person on the scene, you need the weapon, you need the body, you need a motive, you need a lot of stuff. The burden of proof for murder is pretty high. These white liberals online that went to Wesleyan and Washington and Lee, they've got their masters and they have a black friend who went to Oberlin. <laughs> He's woke as hell. He tells them about how bad it is for black people. <laughs> and they watch CNN and MSNBC, Joy Reid. And then they get online and act like 22.5 years is not a long time for a murder. <laughs> Why and how is our court and judicial system broken? It's because Derek Chauvin only got 15 years on good behavior. We all witnessed this man killing another human in front of our eyes. You see how now? The judge said it's 22.5. Now they just, said, they just said it's 15. They, they, he only went 15. That's not even 85%. Like, they they got him serving like 65% of his sentence. If he serves 85% of the sentence, he at least going to do what? 19 years? Like, they ain't even getting. They just giving him 15. Good behavior. Then they say he's going to have good behavior. Like, unbeknownst to many of you guys, it's harder to do time as a white guy in prison than it is a black guy. Because the white gangs require more. Black gangs, it's just kind of like freelance, you know. You, you kind of like, you know, just do whatever you want. The white gangs require discipline. <laughs> if they tell you to go 
stab somebody, you got to do that. <laughs> you have to do it. Like, ain't no, like, man, I ain't do it. No, you have to go do it. Okay? Especially if you join the Brotherhood. If you join the Aryan Brotherhood, he going to do, he want to put in some work. And his sentence is going to get extended. Ain't no way he's going to, he, he might not ever come out if he joined the Brotherhood. <laughs> Because for the fact that they're going to have to protect him in there, they're going to require a lot out of them. This guy says, eight effing minutes? F everyone who doesn't think racism isn't still alive and well. F off. Okay, so this guy, this guy has a message for you. The founder of Black Lives Matter, New York. We have to start thinking about defending our communities because the police have the right to come in and kill us and no one is going to help us. <laughs> oh, shit. We have to defend our communities from the police, y'all. <laughs> the president from the Coalition of Concerned Mothers. This woman is from the Coalition of Concerned Mothers. She says, until my last breath, I will fight for the changes needed to save the life of someone's loved one. <laughs> for the police? Melody Cooper, from a mother of an African-American victim. <laughs> they believe because they are officers of the law, they can break it and get away with it because they have the law to stand behind them. <laughs> we done, man. We done as a race, man. <laughs> it's over. We, we done. Give me a comment section. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Peace. I'm out.